So I was told that allegedly mock drafts are supposed to be fun. So that's what we're going to do today. And I know it's a little bit out there, even though the Vikings could and should be in the Trent uh, Williams Derby as he's set to hit free agency this offseason. All world, 32 years young. I should have been an all pro last season. I was the highest graded left tackle in the National Football League last year. And, eh, eh, but, but didn't he say he didn't want to come to Minnesota? Oh, please. So, BS season is, well, calendar year round for the National Football League, but especially around free agency, especially around the draft. Things get said. Oh, rumors. Sources say all these things. Uh, and the thing that people latch on to is that, oh, Trent Williams said they didn't want to be here, even though he, went out, he, he uh, talked to ESPN and refuted it. By the way, uh, if someone gives you $20 million per year, uh, you'll go anywhere. Like uh, They can move a team to Antarctica, the Antarctica Aardvarks. They play in the NFC uh, very south. And uh, Trent Williams would sign there if they offered him $20 million a year. Ah, that, there we go. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to do a seven-round Minnesota Fighting Vikings mock draft under the uh, parameters that the Vikings signed Trent Williams. Now, as we laid out in the video yesterday, there are some things that have to happen because the hashtag cap is indeed a myth, but, you know. It's more of a fable. Uh, so, Riley Reef cut, traded. Maybe they get a future fourth round dur out of him. Maybe they send him to Indianapolis. That would make some sense. Kyle Rudolph, cut. Bye bye. Shamar Stefan, no. Dan Bailey, cut. Uh, Brent Skull, quit, quit. Too legit, too legit to quit. And we get feedback sometimes. Well, when you run off seasons and uh, you, you, you cut kickers and punters uh, and then you don't replace them, it's like playing the fantasy football. Shut up. Shut up. We'll, 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 the Vikings will just sign a uh, UDFA or league minimum kicker or punter later on. Silencio. Uh, then Anthony Barr cut. So that one, that one's going to be a little bit steep. Now, Dan Bailey and Anthony Barr by March 19th, the third day of the new league year, that's going to be some big time decisions because seven and a half of Anthony Barr's uh, $12.3 million base seller becomes fully guaranteed at that point, as well as I believe it's 1.8 uh, of Dan Bailey's, $2.7 million base salary. Ah, so they're going to have to decide. So that all gets washed out. They throw all the money at Trent Williams. Let's go. Let's go. And we'll say for fun's sake, they shine like sign like Shelby Harrison free agency for a defensive tackle. So uh, people start freaking out there. So here we go. Into the draft. How is this going to affect things? Well, the Vikings have a cornerstone left tackle. Ezra Cleveland still chilling at one of the guard spots. So they're still looking for one of the guard um, some guard help. So that doesn't really change things too badly. But let's start the draft. I'm pro football focus. Now we ratcheted up the randomness. So some crazy things could happen. But eh, so relatively according to Hoyle. So Trevor Lawrence at one, Justin Fields two to the Jets, uh, Jalen Waddle three to Miami. Surrounded two with talent. Let's go. Zach Wilson four to the Falcons. Ooh, Rashawn Slater goes before Penny Sewell. Penny, did Penny Sewell kill a guy? Oh, Darisaw goes before Penny Sewell. I love Christian Darisaw, but if given the choice between him and Penny, uh, no, Jamar Chase, there you go. Uh, no pants for Trey Lance, Quiddy Peg. I mean, besides the the juxtaposition of Penny Sewell and his draft day fall, I mean, this is relatively according to Hoyle, so we'll, we'll take that. So who's on board? Micah Parsons there. That's really big, uh, especially since we jettisoned Anthony Barr. The, this might actually work out. Sertan is on board. Man, man, man. Got a couple of trade offers in the window. So the Raiders want to come up. But if you come up, I'm going to have to gouge your eyes out. Now, for a linebacker, I would be okay with Jabril Cox, uh, the LSU linebacker. I also played at NDSU. Um, so if we drop back, yeah, Bolton, Zayvon Collins, I'm also good with. So if the Vikings drop back and miss out on Micah, I'll be quasi upset but if i can really work the raiders here i'm going to take advantage of that so hey mayak if you want to come up it's gonna cost you chief it's gonna cost you so 14 for 17 48 and 246 let's see let's get nuts no all right we'll take 246 out if we can't get a second round pick i'm not interested so we will try one more time i will include a seventh round pick that that is gold that is platinum. That is cobalt uh, to pretty Ricky Spielman. So let's see. Oh, trade accepted. All right, so the Vikings drop three spots and get back in the second round. So life is good. You know, they give up a fractured seventh round pick. That's whatever. So resume draft. Uh, let's see what happened. Uh, so Sertan. So they trade up for Sertan. Okay. Uh, Bateman and Barmore. So we still got Micah Parsons. We still got Micah Parsons. Now... 
Who wants to come up? Uh, so the Eagles from 37, no, and the Cowboys, no. So, yeah, we're taking Micah Parsons. Now, if his off-the-field stuff checks out, uh, the Vikings and their scouting department do their due diligence. They're like, okay, you know, kid makes, uh, made a stupid mistake. Uh, he's super talented. Like His, his sideline-to-sideline side speed, it really is Devin White uh, adjacent. Plus, you can use him rushing the pass around third down. I mean, let's get after it. I mean, you're telling me that you can kick Anthony DeBar to the curb, you can free up a, a buttload of money, and you get Micah Parsons, and you're able to trade down, get back into the second round with the Raiders. Let's go. Let's go. So now, uh, looking at the draft, Landon Dickerson is there. Yeah, Jabril Cox would have been there. Uh, Boogie Basham. Oh, man. So even though defensive tackle, more of a need than edge, like we said, if Daniel Hunter is 100% ready to go, I feel fine with him. Bring back a Fadi on restricted free agent. Uh, DJ Wanham is uh, in year two. Arguably the second best uh, rookie edge rusher last year behind Chase Young. But this might be too much value. Just taking Boogie Basham at, at this stage where he's got the size. He can set the edge. I, I do like my defensive ends a little bit on the larger side where I, I know it's in vogue to have 250-pound edge rushers who just get after. That's what unique the freaking Gakwe was. But give me dudes who are not a liability on first and second down. Like, give me some guys who are going to whoop somebody's ass. Uh, but let's see here. So the Ravens offering to come up. Ten spots. What can we get? Or I don't trust you, Eric DaCosta. I don't because you're probably coming up for Boogie Basham. So, no. No. So, there you go. Carlos Basham, welcome on in. So, so the Vikings got their toy on offense. Trent Williams. And now the Vikings go in Micah. Uh, and then you get Carlos Basham Jr. in the second round. I like it. I like it, man. So, what are what are still some needs? Defensive tackle. Ooh, Levi and Uzariki fell that far. No, I don't expect him to fall this far into the third. Like maybe he dips into the third round, but being there at 78, that's pretty damn amazing. All right, let's check out wide receiver. So, Kay Johnson has been shooting up a lot of draft boards. Jalen Darden's there. Wow, Sam Brown is there. Surratt. Man, baby, we got Stu going. Safety, other big position of need. Uh, clear out the wide receivers. All right, all right. So, Hems is there. LeConte's there, Upoff's there, Devine, Hufanga's there, Wiggins, Galepsi. I mean, everyone's there. Feeling pretty damn good. Oh, do we uh, do we reunite Upoff with Luther Kirk, the pride of Illinois State? D does Zimmer love his alma mater that badly? Hmm. Uh, well, let's see here. Let's just go shopping. I, I want to see what's there for cornerback as well. Stokes is there? Wow. St. Just is, is rocketing up there too. Calvin Joseph. Ambry Thomas, Sean, yeah, people are really down on Sean Wade, uh, rightfully so. That's yeah, it's it's not great. Um, and then also interior offensive line. So you know the usual suspects: Cleveland, Mainers, Deontay Brown, Trey Smith, Josh Myers. Man, so what do we do? So we're we're kind of in the catbird seat now. I, I do want to address. You could kick Mayfield into guard, or do you want to dick around to that? Yeah, probably not. So, uh, do we check all the boxes right now? Or is Anwuzariki just too much value at, at this stage? Where, you know, Ben Cleveland, Trey Smith, I mean, they'll be there at 90. Yeah, I, I, I do think that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do you go uh, Odigizua? Sort of flip a coin there. So I'm going to discount it because I, I do think that Anwuzariki could work his way to the back end of the first round or at minimum be a second round pick. Uh, so I'm going to play this relatively more realistic, you know, quote unquote. So Odigizua at 78, that one makes a ton of sense. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Like, are you kidding me? So you got your first three picks. Hashtag blessed, by the way. Um, so your first three picks after you land Trent Williams uh, in free agency is you got Micah Parsons, you got Carlos Basham at DN, and you get Odigizua, who can who can also play some edge. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Uh, all right, so now what do you do? Well, do you have the Cleveland Cleveland show at guard? That would make sense. I do want to maneuver because I, I do want to get one of the high well, – we do need our picks, don't we? Or do we let Cleveland go 
let it ride because I'm really in on Jalen Darden. Or do we go K Johnson? Do we give the people what they want? Mm, nah. All right, so I'm going Jalen Darden. We are going to hammer on interior offensive line at 119, possibly 125. Also, we need to check the box of safety. All right, so, oh, Trey Brown is there. So this is the problem is that every time that we're going to draft for need, there there's a BPA available or certainly up there. All right, so Kendrick Green. Um, God, Kendrick Green is really starting to, to rise up. Trey Smith is there. Yeah, you know, let's let's go a little bit fancier because I think Matt Miller mocked Kendrick Green to the to the Vikings. So, ah, why not? Fighting a line, let's get it going. So you got Green and you got Cleveland. Oh, we're back on clock. We can take Trey Smith if we want. Shoot, or do we do we go safety in the spot? All right, so we're back on the clock again at one thirty four. Well, if you're gonna go, if you're gonna gamble, do you have to go? Hmm. Or do you get a guy that's got center flexibility, given, you know, you know, big year for Garrett Bradbury? I mean, do you go Josh Myers? Do you go Drake Jackson? Drake would make sense and would be, you know, a quote unquote scheme fit. So I, I, no, I love Trey Smith. I get it. Now let's go LeConte. Let's go. Down for LeConte. And then let's see here. We got some trade offers. No. All right, so Jets want to come up. It's going to cost the Chief. I'm going to gouge your eyes out. Nope. No deal then. Uh, so what do you do? I mean, do you double and triple down? I mean, we could. We could. All right, so, yeah, we, we got the wide receiver. We got the guard. Uh, we got the one of the safeties. So now it's just sort of tiptoeing through. I mean, there's lots of options here. We go cornerback. I got Trey Brown is still there. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I think we got to take him. All right. Let's go, Trey. Let's go. Four picks left. Would like to double down on safety. Would like to double down on wide receiver. Oh, resume draft. Yeah. How is J2 Fellas still there? How are both the USC defensive tackles still there? Now, uh, again, this is similar to the Anwuzuriki thing where we'll pass just because, you know. Uh, Drake Jackson, yeah, we're going to take our guy. So now you got Drake Jackson, uh, you got Brown. You're, you're pretty good on the interior. You're, you're checking those boxes. Twyman is still there? Wow. Man, this is a problem since we. Doubled and tripled down on defensive line early on, but ah, what can you do? All right, so wide receiver. Ah, Shy Smith is still there. Es I do not expect Eskridge to be there, so we're, we're going to pass on that. Watkins is interesting. I really like Josh Palmer. I, I think he had a really good week at the Senior Bowl. So we could take him a little bit later on. Uh, let's see what the quarterbacks are looking like. Eh. I mean, David Moore, sure. Ian Book, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, Stearns or Tariq. I'm going to get my guy Tariq. It's been a while since we've gotten Tariq Thompson. Double T, Audi TT. Let's go, Aztec. Let's go, baby. Uh, all right. So we got the linebacker. We definitely got the linebacker. Um, it's a wide receiver. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take Palmer. Or do we take Stevenson? Although, Steven, man, Stevenson and Darden together, that's pretty gross. But I, I really like Josh Palmer as a technician. Yeah, we'll go Palmer. And, and again, we're skipping over at Eskridge because he will probably be long gone uh, before the sixth round. So that's what we're doing. Another people freaking out. I'll get your pass on Eskridge in the sixth round. Probably won't be there, bro. Now, did, did Crump declare or did he go back? Oh, we'll go David Moore. There you go. Uh, they'll probably just give us A++ anyway. Maction. Let's go. All right. So how do we end up? How do we do? We didn't even end up with a seventh round pick. Somewhere Rick Spielman is is quietly crying into a tin of skull. 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 Um, oh, they give us a C plus for a quarterback, huh? That makes sense. So uh, we got a B 
for our trade down from 14 to 17. Now, we chanced it because we wanted Micah Parsons, but we're okay if they went a different direction. So if he had been selected from 14 to 16, we would have been okay because I like Jarvell Cox. Uh, I, I like Zayvon Collins. I like Nick Bolton, even though not a one-to-one -one fit. But, yeah, trading down, getting back into the second round because the Raiders had to get them some Patrick Sertan the second. And so you move down, you get back in the second round, and you still get Micah friggin' Parsons. <sighs> Ooh. And remember, just refreshing on the parameters. So Vikings signed Trent Williams. Good to go there. Reef was traded for, I don't know, future third round or future fourth round pick with the Colts. Uh, Rudy cut, Stefan cut, blah, blah, blah. Anthony Barr cut. That was the big one. So all these things kind of had to happen to afford Trent Williams. It happens. So the fact that you get manna from heaven and Micah freaking Parsons, let's go. Nittany Lion, whoo. Boogie Basham uh, fell to 48. Probably not. I mean, he probably goes late 30s if he doesn't end up in the first round, but, I mean, we'll take it. I mean, So you got Carlos Basham, you got uh, DJ Wanham, you got Fadi, you got Brailford rotating opposite of Daniel Hunter. Yeah, Plus, uh, Basham does have the size where he can kick in inside on passing downs. Osa Odigizua at that three-tech spot really blew up uh, at the Senior Bowl. Uh, the pride of UCLA can work that three-tech and also play some edge. A really versatile defensive lineman. So, man... I mean, if Zimmer can't fix the defense with Parsons, Boogie, and uh, Odigizua, and also you have Hunter and Kendricks coming back from injury, uh, cancel cancel the season. It's over. Fire everyone. Uh, for wide receivers, got Jalen Darden, as well as I like Josh Palmer. I know we'll get some pushback on that, but I do like Rocky Top. So they come in as wide receiver three and four. Jalen Darden also contributes in the return game. And then offensive line, Spiel McNord is the offensive line. Kendrick Green, Mean Green, Illini, let's go. Uh, the guard as well as Drake Jack Jackson can play some guard, can play some center. Sort of hedging your bets on Garrett Bradbury year three does make sense. Uh, the only thing, well, the Vikings, we didn't take a tackle prospect, but I believe in Blake Brandle. I believe in Olisi Makaudo. Let's get that thing going. And then safety-wise, you got Tariq Thompson, Double TT, Richard LeCount, uh from Georgia. Uh, dynamic duo can pair up and uh, compete with Josh Metellus uh, for the uh, safety spot opposite of Harrison Smith. Uh, plus, Trey Brown, man. Trey Brown, let's go. Trey Brown uh, added to that cornerback room. Uh, and then also we picked up David Moore from Central Michigan. Go Chippewa. Let's go. Uh, but, yeah, uh, your thoughts on our thoughts, Trent Williams mock draft. Woo! Woo. Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.